What's up, family Tesla is back with a new video. In this one, I'd want to present some critical facts regarding Tesla's sales in China to you all. I will analyze the current state of affairs, at least for the past two weeks, as well as for this year. As time goes on, I'll talk about what more data is revealing about their sales in China and registrations, which you should keep an eye on. Let me just make a few little mentions before getting started. First of all, don't take anything I say as financial advice because I'm not a financial planner. Additionally, if it's possible, kindly click the Moomoo link in the description below. You will receive five complimentary stocks when you register with Moomoo via the provided link and make a $100 deposit into your account. There's a $1,000 deposit guarantee and 15 bonus stocks. The deal expires pretty shortly. In any case, in regards to Tesla, during the course of the preceding week, there were roughly 12,300 insurance registrations in China. Actually, it's a 6.82% decrease over the prior week. We've had a little over 31,000 deliveries in China this month, that is, insurance registrations, which is not too bad. According to sources, they sold roughly 60,000 cars produced in China in February, 30,000 of which were sold there, and another 30,000 of which were exported from their Shanghai factory. Consequently, the concern that many of these investors have stems from the fact that the Chinese data are not promising. This is the appearance of a chart. Although this might be a little difficult to read at first, if you look at the data, you can see that it starts at week 1 of 2023 and continues all the way up to roughly week 52 of 2023. From there, it continues to week 1 of 2024, which began at this same location. This is how things currently appear to be heading into 2024. Now, according on Chinese data, we are in the 11th week of 2024. It was only released a week ago. Thus, this is how the sales appear. However, you'll see that starting at the beginning, this is where it says week 11 here are the first 11 weeks. The first 11 weeks of 2023 are shown for you guys to view here, and you can compare that to the first 11 weeks of 2024. Here is where 2024 begins and spends its first 11 weeks. You'll also see that after a brief surge during the first few weeks, it somewhat declined. The reason for the decline during this time was that we had Chinese New Year, which ended quite some time ago. Generally. Speaking, you want to see a significant increase in deliveries in March. Usually, that's what you want to observe. Observe how these large jumps in deliveries typically occur as the quarter closes. By the end of Q1 2023, Tesla was making about 14, 16, or 18,000 deliveries every week. As you can see, we also experienced a significant surge in Q2 2023 with 16 to 18,000 deliveries. A similar though weaker trend was observed in Q3. There were some unfavorable events, such as production shutdowns. Then take a look at Q4 in the end of 2023 and the previous year, we were achieving absurdly high numbers between 16 and 18,000 each week. Wall Street then anticipates significant growth from Tesla. Their goal is increased sales. However, take note of the somewhat mediocre sales they are now experiencing. This is from the beginning of 2020. At most, um, we're going to receive about 13,000. That is far less than the previous maximum of perhaps 18,000 or 16,000 that we were receiving. Thus, sales are undoubtedly declining in comparison to previous year's figures. And problems with demand are the source of this. You might also argue that competition in China has a role, but given the current state of the Chinese economy, I believe that demand concerns are a major influence. This explains in part why Tesla's numbers have been declining. Additionally, Tesla is now reducing manufacturing in China because to poor sales. Not the best of news, that. And when that occurs, a great deal of anxiety for the future arises. Many of these investors are concerned that Tesla may not achieve all of its objectives. Tesla is going to fall just short. I was just trying to point that out. So based on Wall Street consensus, let me locate it. We anticipate roughly 481,000 deliveries in the first quarter. Depending on the source you're looking at, this might differ, but it should be roughly that. Many people are worried that Tesla may miss its delivery window. That might not be so good. Now, this will depend on sales in the US and Europe, but sources indicate that they are still reducing output from China, which is essential for exporting a large portion of their manufacturing because sales are slowing down. Therefore, guys, we want to exercise extreme caution when it comes to Tesla. In fact, I have additional Tesla-related charts to show you. Here is the insurance statistics, and as you can see, we have slightly lower sales than usual for the first quarter of 2024. The third quarter of 2023 was the only quarter or year that was marginally weaker than this one. Apart from that, we still don't look as good as we did in 2023's first and second quarters, don't you think? We appear to be a little boring. In addition, you will notice that we are currently at our lowest point of the year if you look at the whole insurance data collected in those 11 weeks. One of Tesla's worst quarters to date is this one. Quarter over quarter, the quarter is down 25.7. It is really down 3.9% so far this year. 
Thus, these are a few somewhat unimpressive stats from Tesla. In actuality, we're a little bit lower. You want to see an increase in Tesla's numbers down because it's important to remember that when looking at insurance statistics over the course of a year, Tesla had comparable numbers. The red lines you see, albeit they are a bit small, should be clear enough for you to notice that as of 2024, we have significantly decreased from 2023 and even 2022. And after the Lunar New Year at that, this is how it looks three or four weeks after the Lunar New Year has ended. Because Lunar New Year fell early in that year, 2023 was significantly lower. We experienced the decrease a little later here because it happened a little later this year. Apart from that, though, things ought to have returned by the end of the quarter. Not yet there. Therefore, a very, very strong week for Tesla is required for this to turn around. And this is the entire year's worth of insurance data, though it's not as powerful as what we could have gotten. This is still in line with what we've seen in comparison to past years. Thus, there's a great deal of worry about China at the moment. So as we move toward next week, well, I would guess that shortly after that, in early April, we will see the Tesla deliveries for the first quarter of 2024. I'm not a pessimist, mind you. I'm not going to predict that deliveries from Tesla will be delayed. Tesla will perform poorly. I'm not positive. That's okay. I am not positive. While I always want to be open-minded, I also want to let everyone know that there's a chance that Tesla could not be performing as well as some had hoped. Furthermore, Tesla is a business with extremely high standards. I will therefore be all right no matter what occurs. If Tesla fails and the stock drops much further, it will be a fantastic opportunity to invest again. Tesla might see a significant uptick if it surprises and performs exceptionally well. However, the data I'm examining in China does indicate that Tesla's performance appears to be lacking. Thus, you should exercise extreme caution. Let me also say that I will be all right no matter what occurs. It will be all right for Tesla. In the long run, when we have all these growth projections coming out thanks to AI, the Optimus robot, not to mention the FSD development, not to mention their sales which are going to increase over time, don't worry too much about that. If it gets another dump because of their deliveries, the share price drops and we could dollar cost average lower. I promise not to worry. Tesla will also fare well. These interest rates will now cause some difficulties which will have a significant effect on Tesla. Regretfully, it looks like the Fed will need to raise work out because, as you may recall, there have been times in the past when Tesla was in a worse situation. Following Elon Musk's sale, Tesla's share price dropped from $316 to under $100. It has crashed more forcefully in the past, but even then it recovered incredibly well. Tesla might release more. It is seeing a slight decline. It's acceptable if it decreases even further. Everything will work out. Just let's say hypothetically that the deliveries aren't the greatest. Considering that it has already dropped, everything will be all right. It has recovered. And as loan rates begin to decline and the economy expands, Tesla will as well. They will see an increase in sales. The future belongs to EVs. There are a ton of positive catalysts there. Their network of superchargers is an optimistic stimulant. They still have a very bright future ahead of them. I'm not afraid. I'm not at all concerned. I'll just keep buying the dips no matter what. When the time comes to run Tesla back up, I'm going to be really excited because it's going to be very, very lovely and fun. It will be a ton of fun. I am eagerly awaiting that. It will therefore be thrilling to ride this thing back up, so even if it does drop to low levels minus 150 a share, for example, it will still be okay. The moment will come. Um, e, when it will be so much joy. Guys, it's going to take patience. Due to loan rates, it will take some time, but Tesla is coming back. Have faith in Elon Musk. Have faith in the future and the basics. Okay, everyone, I appreciate you listening. I hope you have an amazing day. I'll see you all in the next one very soon. Peace and thanks again. P is out.